Hi everybody, this is Q and welcome back to my tapes. So, in this video, I'm going to be talking about the Grammys and if they even matter to Black artists. If that's anything that you are interested in listening to, then let's begin. So I don't like to do this. I kind of just like to jump straight in and I will. Um, but I want to say thank you for the new people that have been watching my videos. Um, I just kind of want to throw out some titles of some videos that I've been working on um, and that I might record. And so if any of these things sound interesting to you, maybe like leave a comment so I'll know if I can record one first and put it out for you. Um, here it goes. So title one, I wanted to talk about like Taylor Swift, Scooter Braun, industry politics and like I don't know, thievery and like stay away from Scooter. Um, hashtag stay away from Scooter. Um, title two, the rise of Chloe and Hallie was quite natural this year. Um, I kind of just wanted to talk a little bit about how, yeah, they rose and how it's actually quite organic. Um, and, and, uh, and as you guys know, Chloe and Hallie, this is not the first year that we've seen them make music. They've been making music for a while. Um, so yeah, third title, anime related. I wanted to talk about why most of us are ordinary slash average featuring Tower of God. So if you've watched that anime or if you've read the, red the webtoon, I've watched the anime. I have not read the webtoon, but if that's something you want me to talk about, I don't know. Fourth title, um, why are we still talking about the Grammys in 2020? Um, like why? just in general. Um, and that might st strike you as a surprise, like why don't you address that in this video? And I feel like it, talking about like industry shit, like I feel like cannot just absorb in one video because it seems that we keep bringing this up. So I just want to separate the two. Um, fourth, uh, fifth title, which is the video that I'm talking about today, Do the Grammys Even Matter for Black Artists? Um, sixth title, title, Dixie D'Amelio and Trisha are both clowns. Um, Trisha is a clown. She's been in blackface. She's done all sorts of despic despicable things that I feel like, I don't know, I guess like people don't want to hold her accountable for. And Dixie's a clown because she's not a child. Um, like she's literally like, I think two years younger than me or a year younger than me. Like, why are you tap dancing to, um, some white woman using the N word? Are you fucking, are you dumb? Are you stupid? Are you dumb? Which is it? Um, seventh title. Why is Yummy Song of the Year nomination? You know, wh why? Like, why is it even a nomination? <laughs> Eighth title, Mediocrity in the Music Industry. How ironic, right? Um, mediocrity in the Music Industry. Um, ninth title, where is TikTok going to be in 2021? Like, where is it going to be? Just some thoughts about, like, how we've been able to use TikTok this year and, like, the end of last year and, like, what does TikTok mean? Like, what do you feel like TikTok is going to mean like next year or in like 2022, um, especially next year when we kind of head into summer? Um, so I kind of want to talk about that a little bit and just like these other apps and like Snapchat and all these apps just trying to like converge and be one. I don't know. Um, OK, 10th video title. I kind of wanted to talk about the rise of Telfar, Teflar. Oh, my God. Is it Telfar or Teflar? Um, Tef Telfar. I think it's Telfar. Oh my god. I'm, I, my apologies. But um, I always mix it up when I say the name. But I kind of was thinking like, should I make a longer video just kind of discussing how I've seen Telfar rise? Obviously, Telfar, if you don't know, was established, created 2005. I don't, when was I alive? Was I even alive like then? Like, I, yes, I was. <laughs> I was like a baby. I, I can't really, I don't know if I want to have it be like a newsy segment, like, oh, and Clemens Telfar did this and too. Like, I don't know if I care. I think I just more so want to talk about the rise of Telfar as a sustainability brand that has been launched into like the social stratosphere of awareness and like maybe what can black brands learn from being able to be online like you know like how businesses are morphing their ability to sell and to grow as a brand by being online i don't know i'm getting ideas but i think i wanted to just talk about that in the scope of telfar this year and then the, uh, the 11th title this is the last one which is what can award shows do for black artists in 2020 like maybe it's because i grew up on the internet and i know we have three titles now talking about like award shows and shit but like what can award shows really do for black people in 2020 like have they really done much for black people black americans african americans like so 
Thank you so much for listening to any of these titles. If any of these things sound striking to you, please comment. I'm begging you. Um, if you listen this far and you're ready to start the video, let's begin. I also will be putting some timestamps as always so people can jump through, through and throw, through and fro the video. Um, so thank you so much. Give me some feedback on that. Really would like that you could do that for me. Thank you. Um, and let's start talking. <laughs> Let me redo my theme song. All right, roll the theme songs again. Let, let's go, let's go. God, I hope that people like look at the timestamps. Like not many people comment on my videos. So hopefully, hopefully you using the timestamps. All right. I'm doing it for a reason so that you watch the video. Okay, let's begin. Um, do the Grammys even matter for black, black artists? Do the Grammys even matter for black artists? I have been thinking about this for a while. I... I've thought about this for a long time, like however many years I've ever really been alive and come into awareness about these award shows in the first place. But like, I don't know. I guess I feel like, I feel like the answer is no. And, and I've said this before in a former video, sometimes I'll like pose these questions in the beginning of videos. And sometimes I will pose these questions hoping that like, Maybe I'll come to some sort of conclusion at the end. That's not really always the case. And sometimes, you know, I just give the thoughts that I've written down on paper and I just put it in the video and call it a day. But I don't know. I feel like internally, I feel like for me, the answer is no. Um, as you will probably come to learn if I ever like continue to make these videos, I have a lot of thoughts about like institutions and systems and how they affect and how black, black people black Americans and like the context and 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 I, okay black Americans ethnically right like but also like other black people of different ethnicities that are American as well like African American people and I guess I've just had a lot of thoughts on how black people in general have had to navigate and maneuver these systems obviously since that since I might take kind of more of a historical kind of you know, context, obviously I'll more so be talking about institutions and systems and Grammys and these things as they affect black Americans, because obviously black Americans are the people, de descendants of American child slavery, they've been the black people here, obviously dealing with all of the bullshit for years and centuries. So yeah, I will answer the question right now. I feel like the war shows don't really matter for black Americans in the way that I feel like we want them to and we need them to. And I feel like the reason why we'll never I feel like we'll never be able to catch a break because it's like we don't control these institutions. So like even if the Grammys matter to like a white artist, to like an Ariana Grande and how they affect her and her ability to get deals and endorsements, I feel like we have seen this. Not with the Grammys. I'll have to like look into this. This is not like some sort of deep research video. I'm giving my opinion, right? Um, this is all like alleged stuff as well. If I make any statements, they're all alleged. Um, but this is more so my opinion. Right. So I'm not going to really look into it. But I know for a fact that for the Oscars, like there have been black American actors and performers that have gotten very few that have gotten these. And like, I mean, I don't know, like their career has not, I feel like, been significantly affected by the fact that they got the Oscar. It's more so the fact that they were just talented, like and. And and it's like I'm trying to think of like like Jamie Foxx like I believe I'm pretty sure he has an Oscar like he was doing like brilliant like work does that make sense like he was doing brilliant work before and after and I just feel like I don't know at the end of the day these these people will have to like say this from their mouth except for Monique like she has spoken about this like despite the fact that she is an Oscar like holder very very talented widely acclaimed like breadth and depth of work she is still disrespected and gets um disregarded from deals but i just feel like in general what i was trying to bring the Oscars up for as an example is that like these people who've gotten these awards we haven't really seen their their career like progress in the way that their white counterparts counterparts would if they got these awards like are you are y'all walking with me like walk with me here walk with me stick with me here so that's kind of really the first thing I want to say 
into why I feel like the answer is no. And, 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 you know, I didn't really kind of speak too much on like, I, I, t- I talked a little bit about like the ways in which we want and need these awards to mean in our lives are not the case. And, and, and I guess t- touching on that, it's the fact that we don't only, I'll use the Oscars and the acting as an example in the film entertainment industry. I'll, I'll stick with that for a little while. Um, is that, you know, at the end of the day, we don't control these like large production houses. We don't control these like bodies of people that are making these votes, like very old and white men. Like we, we aren't even like, even if we wanted to go into these like award committees, like we're not even like, we're not even making up like a significant, if at all, portion of these bodies of people who I feel like are not even able to like properly discern good work from people who aren't white. Like not to talk of people who are white, no shade, but like I know for a fact that I frankly don't think that a lot of non-black critics are able to properly critique black art. You know, and we'll talk about this in one of the other Grammy videos that I probably bring up. Probably the whole um what what can, you know, award shows even do for black people? Honestly, in the year of our Lord, like 2020, like what is this even doing for black people today? Not even to talk of back then, but that's not this video. We're still sticking on the Grammys. So let's head back to the Grammys and let's kind of move on to, I would say the next subject line or like probably part two. Um, So the second thing I really want to say in terms of like, do the Grammys even matter for black artists is like, you know, literally leading into my next point. Does Grammys even know how to discern, like, good art? Like, am I, like, can can anybody, and, and I'm not trying to be facetious, I'm really not trying to be funny, but, like, do the Grammys, people on the Grammys board or whatever, whoever is being paid off, payola, all this crap, do they even know how to discern non-mediocre art? Because it seems like they can't. When you have to throw the niggers in a um, urgent urban contemporary because you want to avoid recognizing them amongst the peers of people who have made art as a total in the American populace that submitted their work for the Grammys and you are refusing <laughs> to put them in the categories in which they are and make music for. Like, what does that say? What does that say about your ability to properly even your ability, like not even proper, but like your actual ability to like discern good art? Like, am I really supposed to take the Grammy seriously when they have a category called urban contemporary? I mean, come on. Are we really taking the, like, and this is, and, and I'll get to the, the part C of this, you know, hopefully I don't forget, because I usually forget sometimes when I'll be talking, but like, part C, I literally was going to talk about, like, <laughs> why do we hold these people too much weight? If, if we know, if we, oh, but you know what, I'm getting ahead of myself. <laughs> I'm getting ahead of myself. So let me finish up this, this section. So, so kind of with what I, I, I just feel like. I can't even take y'all seriously. Like, I can't even take y'all seriously as people who are supposed to review music and you look at music that is pop, that is contemporary, that is rock, that is jazz, that is country, made by black American people. And instead of putting them in the right category to compete with all the rest, because their work is so good that they if they have to put them on that nomination, they would have to acknowledge that these people are, black people are making (laughs) culturally significant art. Like if they have to put black people in these categories, they would have to acknowledge like, y'all are literally gonna have to compete with people who are pretty much making the bulk of the cultural significant art in the United States. Currently, presently, past, current, future and I don't think they can do that but I think that if you don't even have the guts (laughs) if you don't even have the guts to be able to say these people make good art Old Town Road was country and rap 
It should have been in two categories. It was both. It was both country and it was both rap. If you can't even put people in the proper categories, and I know Billboard, they also, they pulled that crap too. So I'm not mentioning these people. Then what is the purpose of you? What is the purpose of you? If you are unable and you, you refuse to acknowledge the sort of work that people are making, you can't even discern what is mediocre music. I forgot which award, I think it was like AMAs. They gave like Doja Cat like R&B or something like that or like like rap. And I was like, she clearly makes pop music. Are y'all dumb? Are y'all dumb? I can't take you seriously. I can't take y'all seriously to even look at art properly. I'm gonna ask the question again, just in case you forgot the title of the video, I'm pretty sure I'm still gonna stick with this title. Do the Grammys even matter for black artists? Do they matter? So, two more things I'm gonna mention. One, I thought I was gonna go into quote unquote part C, but I feel like I kind of already addressed like the confusion that I feel like I have around it with some people, which is just like, if, if you're unable, if you refuse to put people in proper categories, if you refuse to discern what is mediocre and not mediocre, if you refuse to let this great breadth and depth of work compete with white people, and you're refusing to do this on purpose, and you have to stick them in a separate category because you don't want to have to acknowledge that maybe, wow, these people are making very culturally significant pieces of work that sold like platinum then I'm under the impression you don't know what you're doing and I can't really take you seriously. And if these things are all true, then why, why would we take you seriously? Like, how are you not a loser? I personally think the Grammys are losers. I really don't think they're qualified. Clearly, clearly, like if you're unable to not be a coward, if you clearly don't have the guts, then I feel like at least ethically, at least like on an emotional level, I just, like not even emotional, like on it, just like a, a logical basis of just like review and critique that automatically is fail. That's it. I'm out. <laughs> so I kind of kind of explained that gone around and around and around with that. So the last things and this, I like, guess, part D, I don't know. The last thing that I kind of want to get into is like black artists using the grammys in these endorsements because i kind of mentioned this a little bit in the beginning but i guess more so in this part d i'm more so just going to be posing a lot of questions that i want people to answer if you would like um as you guys know i have an email if anybody watched this far <laughs> introducing my tapes at gmail.com i want you to email me maybe if you're an art maybe if you're in the music industry like obviously you know i have my sources i don't know um I talk to people like, you know, I ask questions here and there, you know, but if you are an artist, like, you know, you make music, maybe you've been surrounded around like corporate politics, white institutions such as this, like, or maybe you are an artist, you know, can you please talk to me? And, and, and mind you, if you're not an artist or whatever, I hope you guys know like most artists are actually independent. They're not signed to these labels, actually. They're actually independent. Like I believe like 98.7% of people who are making and publishing art are, are literally like not signed. They're independent. They have to assemble their kind of their own team. They don't have an agency, you know. My question for y'all is this, what, is the Grammy going to do for you? What is it? Is it valid? Okay, so you make culturally significant pieces of work. People are using your work of art to comment on society, memeing, right? We've talked about this before. Like a meme is a commentary, a snapshot on commentary of culture and society. Like people are able to use your work, your art that has been done or whatever it is, media, like statements, ideas, like interviews, and they're able to use that, use that language, use the sound. In this case, it's music, right? And commentary on society or create further art and innovate further on art and commentary using your music. <laughs> I mean, come on, congrats, right? But second thing is like, you make art 
maybe you're able to make it by. You've maybe found some friends, they're able to maybe get your music played commercially and like maybe a, um, a, a commercial or two, maybe they slid it in a movie, a short, like, you know, and that's rare, right? Let me not, let me not jump to assumptions on like who you know and how you were able to get your music in Dune or something, you know, on some Netflix show or like something, you know what I mean? I'm not, I, I, I can't claim that to be easy or anything that is really as accessible as I'm making it out to be. But like, you get this Grammy nomination and then what? You get this Grammy nomination and then what? Most of the people I feel like that I saw, if not all of the people that get nominated for Grammys are not independent artists. I feel like... Can can y'all can y'all walk with me here? Like, can we can we can, walk with me here? Like, walk with me, walk with me. They're not independent. I feel like that is gonna take out like the majority of y'all. So they don't really want to look at my work, and then the work that they do look at are not from people who are in my category of being independent. They are most likely affiliated with a very large conglomerate within the entertainment industry, management wise, agency wise, or record label wise, especially the, the latter two, uh, sorry, no, the first one, the management and the record label side or publishing or something, hashtag record label. So that automatically strikes out the most of y'all who are making the work, who are making art, And then if you're lucky to maybe not be an independent artist and you made it through and you make this culturally significant piece of work, now if you don't want to like perform at people's shows or maybe you do something they don't like, they'll swipe your nomination from you. Then what the fuck does it matter? like explain please so i'm gonna leave this question i'm gonna leave the video off with a few questions because i i'm still just kind of thinking about this and i'm trying to wrap my head around this like you don't have access they're not letting in people who don't have access into these institutions and nominations and shows and then the people who maybe if you could maybe possibly qualify for getting nominated from the people if we just look at the people who have gotten nominated they're not people like you they're not independent. They're affiliated with label. They have to play a lot of fucking games. Maybe they're smaller upcoming artists, but they had to sign there with Beyonce. They, they, uh, they're, it's like affiliation, so access. So they still have access in some way that normal people will just not have. Then what does it matter? And then removing from the nomination side, like I said, when I start talking about like commercial distribution and all this, it's like, if you don't even have the access to people who work at these places, then what? Then what? Then what? So do the Grammys even matter for black artists? If we still have to struggle and fight and kind of get somewhere meagerly on our own and with the team that cares and gives a shit, then what does it matter? If we're still gonna be discriminated down the line and not even be acknowledged for our work or underpaid or exploited in deals, then what does it matter? What does it matter if I like, I know some tech people or I know some people who graduated from like, you know, University of Southern USC, NYU, they started making a short film. They went to fucking that one film show, <laughs> that one film. I'm like, it's escaping me right now. In, I believe like Italy, like, pff, is it Switzerland? Like, I'm sorry. Like, I'm so sorry. Like it, it's escaping me. It's escaping me right now. Like then what does it matter if I don't even know people who if you don't even know people who graduated from there or you know people who come from these families or, or circles that they can be like well I know she makes me I know she knows people who make music well let's select people from your roster like if, if you don't even so if it's like you got to struggle and you got to find a way to make it out then like what are these what is this what is the weight what is the weight that it holds what is the weight that it holds so question for the culture like I hate that oh my god okay no question just for people who listening um, that's it. Like, what does it matter? What is the weight? Like, what is the weight that we I feel like the Grammys need us more than we need the Grammys. And I feel like people have been kind of saying this for years. 
and I just feel like in general, I feel like with the access to internet and how we can consume so much art and look at so much non-mediocre art, I don't know. I just feel like how can we even say like dang like objectively how can we how can we still like objectively put a line up next to like fucking yummy by justin bieber and and compare like our fucking art to that that crap and someone is really trying to entertain to me that theirs is the best thing like then what, what, what are, are we being serious here or no also like can we really objectively like rate work with the access to the internet and how we can access such so much more and people have so much access to explore their artistic abilities and maybe some of them few of them make work that is just excellent can we really ever say there's really one that was the best i don't know so thank you this has been another one of my tapes i believe this is tape five side b if not this is tape six side a comment below please like the video subscribe um please give me some feedback on the videos that you might want to see any of the titles please write it down i will put timestamps. if you if you skipped if you skipped that the the the, the whatever and you got here go back to the timestamps because i'm gonna put like different videos that i'm thinking i'm gonna work on i'm literally gonna state it out i'm gonna put it in the description and i'm gonna put it in the comments so please go back listen to that like two minute thing hear the 10 titles that i mentioned and let me know which ones you want to hear besides this one obviously because this one is going out first um thank you so much and yeah bye